All right, Ray, I enjoyed test driving the Jeep. I, I want to get some numbers. Talk to me a little bit here. Uh, could you give me an out the door price so I can see what I'm getting into? Absolutely, Zach. I'm so glad you enjoyed the test drive here. It got you, Jeep. The, the thing that's most important to us is to make sure that we match a customer with their perfect vehicle. We're looking for your perfect match. And apparently, this Jeep is it. I might even go so far as to say you got me. Yeah, no, I love this Wrangler, and I'm really, really interested in getting those numbers. Is that something you can do? Does your manager do it? And and please don't play games with me, right? I watched this YouTube channel. It's a father-son rigmarole. Like, I know out the door price. Just give me everything with fees and add-ons and all that fun stuff. Can you please just give me an out the door price? Not a problem at all, Zach. It got you motors where our slogan is once we got you. We get you, or once we get you, we got you. Well, either way, I'm going to give you whatever it is that you need. And if you need an out-the-door number, I'm going to get it for you. As you know, the list price on the vehicle was sixty was $60,995, and you're not going to pay anywhere near that, Zach, when I'm done with you. Great news, Zach. After talking to my manager and, and taking everything into consideration, you, you're not active military, are you? I, I told him you weren't. I no, just want to make no. sure. Yeah. And okay, so you're not active military. Recent college grad. I mean, you, I mean, you look like you could be what, 22, 23 years old. Thanks for the kind words. No, not a recent college grad. I, I, I didn't think you were. For, so we didn't. We, we didn't include any of these uh, these rebates from the manufacturer. What I can do for you on that vehicle is I can get the price down to. $59,985 plus tax title license dock fee. Oh, and and we do have the uh, Gotcha Motors protection package that's on there. It's another $1,995. Okay, so I just want to make sure I can visualize this here. The car is worth about $61,000. Yes, yes. And you're selling it to me for like $1,000 off, but then there's a mandatory, is it mandatory? Am I making that word up? Or did you say mandatory, this protection package? I said it, it included the, the Gotcha Motors protection package, okay. which is $1,995. Uh, every one of our cars has that. You know, it's the body side moldings, the uh, door edge guards, um, the uh, the door cup uh, protection for, because you don't want your fingernails scratching those door cups when you go to to open the doors on that. I mean, you let, you let the bushes out there there, scratch your car, but not your fingernails. It's it, it's got it's got paint protection and it's got interior protection. So even the bushes are going to have a tough time putting scratches after we're done with the Gotcha Motors protection package. Okay, and then there's the dock fee. All right, so I I'm, I'm piecing this together now. Can I ask you a question, Ray? When yes. you when you spoke to your manager about this. Was this like your best price? Because honestly, I just pulled this up on your website and it's the same price you've got it advertised for on the website. And I don't want to be well, average. Well. I want like a really good deal. And I, I even did my research, yeah. right? I think you guys have had this this uh, this vehicle for like 170, 180 days. Like it's kind of it's kind of been sitting there. No one's buying. Zach, just, just, just between you and me, do you, do, you, do you think we'd advertise our second best price to get you in? I mean, yeah, that's 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 our best price. The whole the whole point is is to use a price that's attractive enough to to encourage somebody to come in. So we're not going to advertise our second best price. That's a, that is an extremely aggressive price in today's marketplace. Um, you know, so I. I I, I'm not sure what to tell you. Uh, and, and, you know, tell me what you have in mind. Two things. Yeah. One thing that I have in mind is I was able to get my hands on the invoice price for this yes. vehicle, and I know it's under fifty nine thousand dollars. I can show you if you'd like, but I don't want to pay over your cost dealer invoice. And I know again, yeah. I, I do a lot of research and things like that. Okay. I don't go out on the weekends. I just I was addicted to research and this stuff. I know you get hold back. I know you get floor plan assistance. I know you get advertising assistance. Yes. So I'm not asking you to dig into that, but I know that invoice price, that dealer invoice cost was under 59,000. So we got to get to at least that. Again, I'm not going to touch your hold back. I'm not going to touch your floor plan. I'm not going to touch your advertising we, assistance. We, we, Although we maybe, maybe we should. And the other thing, right? And maybe you share this with your manager. There's about 10 other Jeep dealers within 50 miles. I'm happy to call each of them up. They all have similar, I like this one the most, I'm gonna be honest, I like this one the most, but they've got similar inventory, and I'll ask them for OTD quotes, out the door quotes too. It's not a problem, Zach, you wanna make the calls? Use my phone, there's no charge. We've got nothing to hide here. You wanna to call to find out how competitive we are? We're competitive. I'm already selling you the vehicle, what was it, $59,985? Um, 
you know, if this was your business, just just between you and me, let, let's just say that that you we're we're going to make you a partner in the business, okay? Right? As a partner, and and you know that that our invoice price was fifty nine thousand and change, correct? Fifty eight thousand and change. Fifty eight thousand and change. I was close. Fifty eight thousand and change. As as an investor in the business. Okay, what what do you think you would want as a fair return on your investment? So, you, as 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 the partner in the business, you put up fifty eight thousand and change. W- what type of return should you get? All right, Ray. There's costs and there's revenues. I understand you want to make some money when you sell the vehicle. I totally get that. You also have a cost every day. This Wrangler sits on your lot. Maybe this is a conversation I should be having with the sales manager or your general manager, but there's a floor plan cost. And you've had this vehicle Uh, 174 days. There's a 215 days supply within 100 miles of here. Zach, as as the partner, what would be a fair return on your investment? How much over the 58,000 and change would you be willing to spend? How about this? You give me fifty-seven thousand dollars as the selling price of the vehicle, no protection package, and I'll do the deal right now. You're a partner in the business. You've put up the money. You've put up fifty-eight thousand in change. I'm to buy the vehicle. Yeah, I'm that's the deal sure. it cost. Yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure the return on investment you were looking for was not a negative number. Uh, I'm thinking you're looking for some type of positive number. So positively speaking, how much over the 58,000 and change would work for you? And then I'll go share that with my boss to make sure that he would agree with it. Share with your boss that I'm ready to get up right now and leave and happy to come back on the last day of the month when this car is still sitting here and you're even more desperate to sell it. 57,000 selling price. I'll take it right now. We'll sign the paperwork and I'll even finance through you guys so you can make some money on the back end, but that's my offer to you, Ray. Well, it's it, 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 I will say it's an offer, um, and I would look forward to being your stockbroker in the future so that I can call you up and let you know that I've got the hell of a buy for you. Give me $10,000 for XYZ stock, and I can turn it into $9,000 for you overnight, okay? I'll, I'll be more than happy to take the number to my boss, uh, and, and share your 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 knowledge and information with him, and um, and I'll be sure to let him know that uh, uh, you're headed out the door, um, assuming that we can't get to your number, and we'll see what he says. Do me a favor, take this piece of paper with you. It's got the total number of similar vehicles for sale within 100 miles and how many have sold in the last 45 days. These things are boat anchors. They're not moving, Ray. Hopefully that'll motivate him to want to make this deal. Mm. Just curious why you'd want to get your hands on a boat anchor, Zach. I like it. (laughs) All right, so there you go. When you're at the dealership, it's really important that you keep a few things in mind. First and foremost, I actually shouldn't have been as overzealous as I was coming back from the test drive. The salesperson is going to ask you all sorts of questions. Kind of keep your your hand, uh, your cards to yourself. You don't necessarily need to show all of them. So that's like if I were to go back and do that all over again, maybe something I would have coached myself up on. The things that I did well, I got the out the door price, or at least I I really couched everything and I need the out the door price. And I let the the salesperson know I'm a knowledgeable shopper. There's no need to hide anything that you can tell them, hey, I know what's going on here. Let's cut to the chase. I knew the dealer invoice costs, and that was important to me to kind of ground the conversation and I'm not going to pay above dealer invoice costs. And you heard me multiple times in there reference market conditions. This vehicle is not selling particularly well. Like in reality, this vehicle is not selling particularly well. And so if a dealer is going to hold you back from getting a better price, you can reference the fact that, hey, this is not selling particularly well. And you have competitors who might be more aggressive than you. So if you keep those things in mind when you're actually at the dealership negotiating or doing things over the phone or via email, that should help you out to get a better out the door price.